ain't nothing in this ponytail. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Carmise. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all see this finished product of my hair. If you guys want to know how I got my hair like this, then just keep on watching. But before we get started, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. We use on the road to 1k subscribers, so make sure you guys subscribe. And make sure you guys turn your post notifications to notify every single time your girl uploads her videos. And yeah, anyways. <laughs> Let's get started. This is my human hair wigs from Nadula on Amazon. Ooh. So here is the wig from Nadula on Amazon. This is body wave hair. Yeah, I was going to try the stocking cap method, but I thought they come with um caps, but this isn't what I need. Yeah, I don't know why they would send a weaving cap if I already have a wig. So... I thought they were going to send me, like, you know, the stocking caps. And, of course, with every hair company, you get some lashes, the same old lashes. I'm not really going to wear the hair in the body weight form. You feel me? I'm going to straighten it. So, ooh. Here's the hairline. We have some baby hairs. I'm definitely going to have to go in with the plucking. But overall, it's fine. I'm definitely gonna have like a middle part. And yeah, so let's just transform this wig, you feel me? I'm going to straighten it out. I'm going to tweeze the hairline, pluck the hairline, all that. So this is how the hair looks like. And to be honest, off the bat, you can tell like how thin this hair is. Like with these hair companies, it seems like with the wigs, they put as much less hair as they can as possible when they make their own wigs they put less hair than when you just buy your bundles and make your own wig you feel me i guarantee you if i bought three body wave 12 inch bundles and a frontal 12 inch i guarantee you it would be way thicker than this other than that it's very soft no shedding no shedding at all I got it as straight as possible um, and I'm definitely going to just trim that like you see where it's all thin like that I'm going to trim it to make it all like a blunt cut and straight and even there's a whole lot of flyaways so I'm just going to use my mousse and then I'm just going to take my scarf and then I'm going to lay it down so that everything stays flat just like that for about five minutes. Okay, I have my hair laid down. And all that, so. Okay, so the wig comes with some comb attachments. You have one in the middle, and you have one at the bottom, and then two at the sides. Um, I tried on the wig, and it's perfectly fine. I didn't need the elastic band. So I just went ahead and took it off. I am 100% truthful with any hair company that I put out, any hair company that I review whether it's sponsored whether it's <clears throat> me buying the wig by myself my own money i do not play when it comes to how i feel about the hair and if you guys should get it or not you feel me like i'm not just gonna sit here and tell y'all to get something if i know it ain't good or if i know if I, or if i don't like it i'm not gonna tell y'all to go get something you feel me so if you like the thin look and they have like this little tag I started a fire with that paper. Okay, so let's put the wig back on. Now I'm only doing the middle part, so that's why I'm not really, really plucking the, the sides because I'm just gonna have it straight down. So I'm just going to pluck the the um the middle part. Look, there ain't nothing in this ponytail. <laughs> Whew, child. Anyways, we're just going to lay the hair down with some glue and yeah but first before you do that make sure your your forehead or your hairline 
is cleaned with alcohol. Make sure there's no oil residue. None of that, ma'am. I'm definitely not keeping this hair in till Christmas. Like, it's just a, like an emergency hair. Don't get me wrong, like the hair company itself, Nadula hair was good. Like I had their curly deep wave hair on and I wore it like a couple times, you feel me? Within the several months that I got it. So like the hair company itself is good. I just think their wigs ain't all that. Okay, so since the glue is pretty much dried, we are going to get the free spray that I can have on. We're going to get our got to be free spray and this shit right here will lay your shit for days. Like your your front ain't going nowhere for days. I don't even use blow dryers anymore. <laughs> okay, but anyways, now we can lay it down, baby. Now the, the lace is really, really good because it blends right in with my skin as in not bleach just hair whatsoever. You know, I'm just popping it on. Okay, now I'm going to be doing my baby hairs. You feel me? I'm going to take a thin layer. Eric comes with pre cut baby hairs. I want it to look as natural as possible, so I'm not going to be. I'm going to pluck some of them out. Now we're going to get the free spray and just go like this. Okay, now I'm just going to lay my hair down to get it as flat as possible. And I'm going to lay it down for about five minutes and then I'll be back when I'm done. So this is how my hair turned out. I cut it shorter, even more shorter than before. So I don't know, it's still pretty thin, but to be honest, it's not bad, okay? It's just that the hair is thin. Everything else about the hair is good. Um, also the flyaways is a little problem at the top. Got something for free spray, but it's still like, Picking up. <laughs> I think I need that whack. But anyways, this is how my hair turns out. Turned out. It was wider before, and then you guys saw me straighten it, and then I cut it shorter. Overall, this hair, would I get it again? Is it worth it? It is worth it, but depending on your budget, you know. If you want like a bomb ass wig, this ain't it. But if you want something that's suitable for your budget, something you know cheaper than than um, other wigs, then yeah, this wig is fine. But it depends on what you like. If you like that, you know, thick density, a lot of hair, then this wig ain't it because it's so thin. And that's why I don't like it that much because of that reason. You know, when you get 12 inch hair, you would think that, because you know, like the shorter you go, the thicker the hair is. So you would think 12 inches would be like, you know, thick as fuck, like bomb. Feel me? But no. They barely added hair into the wig, is what I feel. So. Anyways, um, this is my review on the hair so far. I'm liking it. I'm not going to be wearing it for a very, very long time, but I will give you guys like a two-week update on the hair. 
I'm probably gonna keep it in for like two weeks so I'll give you guys a update on that soon and yeah so anyways this is my hair review on Nadula hair if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel make sure you guys turn your post notifications to notify every single time your girl uploads her videos and yeah let me know if you guys like it and if you do want to buy it I'll have the I'll have a link to the exact wig in the description box down below for you guys to check out and yeah anyways i'll see you guys in my next video bye it was just sitting out for like fucking 30 minutes it was actually one of the worst ones i've gotten